It's about 8 30 in the morning on Wednesday, October 4th, 2023. And I'm moving the cows to the uh, the next two cells, which I think are the fourth and fifth cells. Yeah, yeah. We got some rain this morning. We got quite a bit. It looks like about a quarter inch, if not a half inch. It's hard to tell. Um, I'm using the dog dish <laughs> to measure rainfall. The dogs probably lap some of that up. I'm not seeing any puddling. Um, my pants are soaking wet though because there's a lot of rain on the goat weed and I had to walk through the goat weed. The cows are reluctant to move. I don't blame them too much. There's not a lot of excitement in this pasture, I think, in this area. There's a little bit of growth. I gave it three weeks to recover, but it really hasn't done much recovery. It's, uh, there's a couple spots that are decent, but most of it's pretty bad. The last section had more decent spots, but uh, yeah. Come on, cows. Come on. They're coming. They're just taking a while. They got their morning shower in. Right now it's about 75 degrees with very high humidity. It's supposed to get up in the 80s today, not to the 90s. Um, so we'll see what happens there. It's supposed to rain in the evening when I want to move them. So I, that's why I'm giving them double cells today because I don't want to be out here in the rain moving them. I rain a lot, like, like an inch or two. So there's flood warnings. <clears throat> because of the rain we're supposed to get today. <clears throat> but uh, the top layer is wet. I wouldn't say it's muddy. I don't see any puddling or any signs of runoff yet. Let me just walk into the section. Maybe the cows will follow me. Maybe I should bring the water, move it down to the next watering point. The goat weed here is about at my knees. Yeah, there really isn't much grass here. There's a little bit. But it's just not a lot. Cows are probably hungry. Maybe I should roll out that hay. Here. Oh wait, here's some grass, a little bit. Just little mouthfuls here and there. It's a big area though. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they won't damage it too much. There's not a lot of grasshoppers. I think the flight count is down too. I wanted to check the flight count. All right, they're coming. Let's check the flight count. See what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, it's like six flies on blue. There's probably 100 on red. There's quite a few on that black cow. Flight count is seems to be down, but down from a very high number not too long ago. This is my neighbor's bull. Or is he a steer? I don't know. Him and Blue were having a conversation this morning. Yeah, it's a bull. <laughs> His parts are intact. <laughs> oh, he's starting to get some growth. There's little bits of green growing in his pasture now. So, yeah. I think the only difference is I have goat weed right now. <laughs> Yeah, I have goat weed, he doesn't. <laughs> if you recall, I was uh, expecting like half an inch of rain a week through October. So far, <laughs> it seems to be holding up. Maybe we'll get a little more rain. Um, 
if it gets to the point, like this part of the pasture, I think I had the cows running here when it was very rainy and muddy, and they tore it up. That's one of the reasons why it's not doing so well. So what I'm thinking is if we do get to a point where the cows start tearing up the pasture, I might just confine them to a spot, limit the damage, roll out hay as best I can. <clears throat> Because when it gets muddy like that, there's nothing running through that mud. It's not going to tear up the field. This is metal tag. She's a smaller Angus. Um, I like the fact that she's small. I don't want big cows. I think smaller cows have a better time at it. So. Yeah, that's all I got for you today. Just rain. And humidity it's not cold normally it seemed like this up in the Pacific Northwest um, it would be in the 50s or 40s <laughs> uh, but right now it's 75 I'm sweating just standing here so yep all right guys have a great day take care and bye bye